This is Hannibal here from thehannibaltv.com. And I have a woman on here, former TNA announcer, and is a podcaster and writer for the LA Tribune. But she's now going to be the host of her own television show tonight on TLC, 10 p.m. Central, 11 Eastern, calling in the cheapskates. So we've heard about uh, your cheapness in some of our past (laughs) interviews, Goldie. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this show. Congratulations on it. You know, congratulations to Hannibal for having such an incredible network of awesome people and the following and just the diehards. So I wanted to ask him if I could come on and just talk to you all just because I've been on Hannibal's podcast so many times. You've all been so gracious. I, I just blow me blow me away, especially sports entertainment followers. Just uh, I have a soft spot in my heart, obviously, from all the years with uh, NWA, TNA, Impact Wrestling, the OG TNA knockout. You know, Hannibal, a lot of people don't even know like the whole knockout thing was because I had my camera gear that I would bring from L.A. every week to Nashville, and I started a calendar taking photos of me, Trinity, and the other girls, and that's like how the whole knockout thing started because I thought since WWE had something like that, we should have it. But I don't get the credit for that, so I just thought I'd I'd put myself over. And that's how the cheapness began because I did shoot all of the first shots that you saw for Impact for NWA TNA. But today, August 2nd, is a new show, and I want everybody to watch because it's going to be really funny and silly and gross and entertaining, but it's also going to be educational, and we all need to save money. I think everybody is living in debt and spending over their means and trying to impress their neighbor and keeping up with the Joneses. This is a really funny way of showing you and practical how to save money, I go in and I help families. I look at all of their finances. I list it all out on a whiteboard. And we really dive deep into figuring out where the money is going. And this particular family, I won't give away too much, but they make really good money and they're in the red a ton every month. So we just want to look at that. And it's when a third party person comes in, they're like, you know, that nanny that comes and bitch slaps all the little kids and gets gets them in line. When a third party comes in and kind of calls you out on what are you doing? What are you doing? It's way different than if you say to your wife, you're spending too much or your husband talks to the kids or it's different when another person comes in, especially pro wrestling personality, rocker. We have different ways of doing things. So tonight, I just want you to tune in. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be out there, Hannibal. And, you know, so it's like wife swap, but you like come into this family's house and you teach them how to save money. Whether they like it or not, and they have to do the things that I tell them to do, like when they they don't want to. And a lot of people watching wouldn't want to do this, but- What's the gross stuff that you're mentioning? You'll have to just watch. (laughs) I have no idea what they're going to show tonight. That's the beauty of it. I have no idea how they're going to paint me. I could be a complete bitch. I could be helpful. I could be nice. I could be wicked. I don't know. I just shot a ton of TV through the COVID, and who knows- And that's, you really have to have a set of balls, Hannibal, to come on and just let people do whatever. They can take my stuff out of context. They could take a voiceover and put something completely different over it. This is what I signed up for. It's an adrenaline rush. I'm terrified. I'm nervous. And the reason I asked Hannibal if if I could come on the show was, yes, I want you to learn tonight. I want you to be entertained. But I've also been giving away lunch every day this week, dinner, winner and a dinner, lunch money with Goldie. And I just have some extra money that I've been saving for this night that I want to go comb social media, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, especially Twitter, especially Twitter. And I want to look for the funniest posts after the show or tomorrow. Hashtag call on the cheapskates, the at handle sign for TLC. I don't care what you do. Just do something. And I'm literally going to Venmo, PayPal or Cash App people money for the funniest, most clever posts. Because I just this is going to be a blast, and I, I want you to learn some stuff from it. And even if the stuff that is gross, Hannibal, maybe it's so far fetched, but maybe if you see yourself in that just a little bit, it'll inspire a different money saving idea. I again, I don't know what they're going to include tonight. I just know I did some crazy ass shit. How many episodes are there? I have no idea. I just know we filmed a bunch of stuff, and I don't know. 
how they're going to concoct it all. So tonight is a complete, as we say in the wrestling business, surprise. The surprise is on me. I have no idea. Now, Lanny Poffo is one of the cheapest people in wrestling. You may or may not have heard. It's one of the two things that he's known for. I didn't know this. Sucking his own dick. What? Yeah, that's that's the other thing he's known for. But what? anyways, he said <laughs> his biggest saving tip was getting a bidet instead of using toilet paper because he found that toilet paper costs a lot over the years. What would be your biggest saving money say tip? This, say this guy's name. It's Lanny, L-A. Lanny Poffo, the genius. Lanny. Former WWE. He's Macho Man's brother. Poffo? I yeah. don't know him. I'll look it up when we're done. Biggest money saving. Most people trip. don't remember him. Well, the part that you said is a little terrifying. Thank you, though, for letting me know about somebody being able to perform. He's very proud of it. He's told it to me in interviews several times. That's why I bring it up. Really? Yes. Wow. It's I his claim to fame. He used to do it in the dressing room. He was so cheap, people would pay him. They'd throw money into the hat, and he'd do it in the dressing room in front of the wrestlers. Good Lord. Well, I don't have anything quite that uh, earth shattering to share with you, but money saving tips. I mean, there's a lot of things you're going to learn tonight. So tune in, but especially for dudes, because I know there's a lot of dudes that are watching. I always say like save money by just utilizing what you already have. Um, a lot of guys, as stupid as this sounds, they don't even want to take home leftover food from the restaurant. They leave it. Bring that stuff home. And if you're a bigger guy, right when the food comes. If you're a real man, you should never have leftovers. If you're what? If you're a real man, you should never have leftovers, in well, my opinion. But, or some men are too real of a man and probably should ask for a to-go box before they even start eating. Like, yeah. no, I'm serious. Because some of these, like, all-you-can-eat red lobster gimmicks, I, you look at it, it's like, I, I think if you do the all-you-can-eat, shrimp thing there was like this competition where two guys were vomiting online to see who could eat the most biscuits and all you can eat shrimp and it was something like 7500 calories versus like almost 10,000 calories no you should have brought like well obviously they're not going to just keep bringing you free shrimp if you're putting it in a box but i think more people should wor look at the portion control okay a real man shouldn't have leftovers but if you do have them i know so many dudes that won't even take that stuff home all right, you're taking it home. It's going to come in a really nice plastic container. Don't throw that shit away. Save it. You can use it for reheating another meal, meal prepping, bringing your lunch to work. You can save money by bringing your lunch to work. What if every other day you brought your lunch to work? That would save you $400 a month. Think about it. You spend about 20 bucks that month, 20 bucks at lunch, 25 tip, or you eat fast food. And even fast food's like 12, 13, 14 bucks. What if you did that every day? You'd save. 40, 50 more, add it up. So eating out, taking the same leftover containers, using those to meal prep, take them with you. That's a huge saving. Uh, there's Hannibal, it could be a whole show. We should just do a whole show on money. I mean, I've got them like hundreds of things. I'm actually writing a book about it because I like people to save money. They don't argue yeah. as much. They don't You'd really be horrified if you knew my spending habits for this year so far. What is, what what is your spending habits been just terrible or have you been conserving? I have not been conserving. Like what do you spend your money on? I have to itch my nose. I'm not doing coke. What, what do you spend your money on? <laughs> <laughs> there was actually a woman I interviewed on the weekend that probably was what? doing that and was also itching her nose. <laughs> was also itching her nose and I really have an itch. It's better than itching my nuts or sucking my own schwang schwang. What did you spend all your money on? What did you spend all your money on? For the three months I was in Texas, there was a lot of uh, eating out, let's just say, almost every day, at least twice a day. Okay, but you're out of town and you have the money, don't you? Or do you not have the money? Get back over here. Yes, I do. Sorry, I don't like looking at myself. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't look at yourself. So for the people that don't have money, that's who I'm talking about. And- I do a lot of thrift shopping. This is no secret. Like I was talking about this dress that I have on today. It's super, super cute. It's Bijou Bijou. It's like $189, $200 dress. I got it for a buck. Not only do I go to thrift stores, but I go to thrift store outlet centers. So like we have Goodwill. Goodwill is like, I don't know, a dress would be $5.99, six bucks. To me, that's too much money. I go to the Goodwill outlet center where the stuff is by the pound. So if you get something that weighs a half a pound, it's 50 cents or it's a dollar for the pound. 
You can seriously get amazing clothes and look so great and fashionable with stuff that still has the tags on it. I got a pair of pants like last month, $150 couture pants for a buck with a tag right on it. It's not just used clothes that are at thrift stores anymore. Now, different stores, they just want to dump stuff. It's a tax write-off. They just get rid of it. And there's lots of brand new things to be had. Wouldn't you rather get something for a couple of bucks and have a couple of hundred dollars left over to like give yourself some room, not only give yourself some room to pay bills on time, but how many of you are investing? Even if it's egg corn or stash or cryptocurrency, like do you take $50 a month and invest it? Do you take a hundred, 200, 500, a thousand dollars a month and save it? You don't have to save a ton to see growth. And that's why I like to save money. I'm like the packet queen. I'm the whatever is free at a restaurant or a hotel. It sounds redundant, but like take the take the bottles home with you. Dump them all in some gimmick. Let them all drip together. I don't care. And sometimes I even go to the dollar store, Hannibal, and get like a really nice container and put all that stuff in it and give it as a gift. Nice bow. Nobody knows that the container was a buck at Dollar Tree and the other stuff was free. It's the thought that counts. It smells good. Nobody's going to know about it. There's other money-saving hacks. Like a lot of guys don't know about Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross. It's not just for some clothes. Go to the back of the store. There's pet stuff. There's stuff for kids. There's like all kinds of home goods and things for your house. Again, a great place to find gifts. You don't want to look like a cheap ass. You don't want to look like you're not giving an expensive gift. But there are just so many places out there to get things that you need. And that's why I'm excited about this show. It's more about things that you can utilize around your own house. And what were you saying about the shower? You were saying oh, the bidet. I'm going to disagree with that. Like a bidet uses, I'd have to look at how many gallons of water. I know it's like 14 gallons of water or something like that. It takes to flush your toilet 10 to 14. And that starts to add up a lot. Um, a huge money saving tip is don't do your dishes or your laundry between the hours of 5 PM and midnight, you know, wait till after midnight or 11 PM and throw in a load in the middle of the night. And then if you get up to pee, put it, put it in the dryer then. Um, but right when you get home from work, that's when everybody, that's the highest time to use all of your, elect, your, your electrical. Same with water. If you can, if you're going to the gym, shower at the gym, like do that every other day. If you could do every other shower at the gym, cause you, you know, you're there anyway, and you can save on lunches and all this stuff. Like you start to see like a savings of 400, 500, $600 a month. Okay. Take half of that and invest it and then watch your shit grow. That's what I don't think a lot of people are doing, which we talked about it. You invest in some things, right, Hannibal? I do, yes, but I mainly invest in myself. Well, I mean, and that's an investment, but you know what you're doing. You had money to spend in Texas. And there's a lot of people that are out there that are, li that are literally living paycheck to paycheck or, in my case, an independent contractor, a wrestler, an entertainer. During the COVID, you there is no paycheck coming in. You're, you know? So where is that yeah. rainy day stash where live to learn way beyond, way underneath your means. And then it also gives you more money to do things for other people, which makes me. I've been really poor good. until about two or three years ago all my life. So I understand. You understand what I'm saying. And it doesn't make you feel good when you literally have to think about, can I afford to go to this function? These guys want to go hang out. They want me to go on this little vacation with me, even if it's like a weekend run someplace. I'm not going to have enough money. I'm going to look lame. I won't be able to contribute. I'll be the cheap ass. Like you don't want to be that, but it's like, don't spend retail for dumb things that you can get for nothing. And that's what I love to teach people how to do is like, do you, do you realize that I don't even go to a drive through without acting? I don't even do it anymore. I used to act like, oh, I dropped something and I'd open up my car door, car door. I think the most I ever got was like almost $7 and change which more than paid for my Starbucks. Like, are you aware of where all the free money is out there? Are you aware of programs that are out that are out there? Are you aware that you can go to a hotel and get a bunch of free stuff? And not only is it a bunch of stuff that you can use, but like take a cheese grater and like grate that soap with a few other products and put it in a bin. And you literally have laundry soap for a year that costs you $14 or less. Not only does it cost you nothing, but there's no big plastic containers filling up landfills for your kids to enjoy and die from, you know, when we're all long gone. 
So there's just a lot of things about being conscious tonight on calling the cheapskates that that you'll learn and it will just illuminate or inspire you to think of other ways like, oh, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Maybe if I did this, I could save some money. So many ways. And like I said, giving away free money tonight, all you have to do is hashtag call on the cheapskates. There it is. And include the TLC handle and make it funny. You guys like to shoot on stuff all the time. I see Monday Night Raw. I see SmackDown. I see the funny comments that you say. They're so off the wall. Like, just include me in it, Goldilocks Rocks, and that, and a funny picture or something, and I'll send you money tonight. I cannot wait to do that all day tomorrow and late tonight. It's just Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, some some money to people for, for engaging. I'm excited about it. See, I'm too cheap to get TLC Otherwise, so I. I would watch it. I just watch so YouTube. I. Nope. I am too I am too, too cheap to get it. So there's a place called Philo, P-H-I-L-O.com, and you can subscribe for free. And I set an alarm on my phone to cancel it in three days so I can enjoy a few of my own reruns, and then I'll be canceling it. So I'm that cheap as well. So don't I, tell me that you can't watch it. It's free. I know you got a lot of promotion to do today, but there's been a bunch of fans that want to know tips for cooking cheaply. Oh my gosh. Tips for cooking cheaply. Okay. First off, cooking cheaply, please start out by studying what they have at Dollar Tree. Study what they have at Dollar Tree, even over Dollar General or other dollar stores. So if you have a Dollar Tree, but you can still do Dollar Generals, there are, um, if you Google the difference between Dollar Tree, Dollar General, like all of them pretty damn close. But Dollar Tree, again, everything is 99 cents there for cooking. But sometimes the amount is going to be, you know, you're paying $2 for this. That You know, it's different sizes. You can get freaking Himalayan salt by the bag there for 99 cents. Where if you go to the supermarket, it's 10, it's 12. Huge savings. They'll have closeouts on something. It's not expired. It's still good. Pierogi. Pierogi is 99 cents a bag. You go to the store, it's four, five, six dollars for a bag of those pierogies. Little things like that. All of your spices. Who the hell cares? Do you really want to go pay full price for a freaking brand name McCormick spice? Watch, I got a sponsor for them tomorrow. Sorry. You don't want to spend shit. That stuff is $6.99, $9.99. It's $14.99 for a thing of vanilla beans. Real but that's crazy. Like. You're spending $100 at least in spices, or you can go and get 10 things that you're going to really need for a freaking dollar. And then if maybe it's not strong enough or something like that, you like the oregano, you like the this, the that, the thyme, the rosemary, then go bump it up to Dollar Tree, but, um, but to Dollar General. Dollar Tree has by far, you can eat there for like nothing and get some really, really, really quality, great stuff. Another place, I, like I said, Marshalls and Ross, I go there for everything. You need your vanilla extract, go there first because a lot of the stuff in cooking and cooking really fine, good meals is expensive. And it kind of, unless you're just a gourmet cat and you like to do all that stuff, people like to try different things. I'm telling you, those dollar stores are the bomb. There's another thing called ugly fruit or ugly vegetables. Look online for bruised or damaged food into Americans. I don't know about Canadians, but see, Europeans, they just buy stuff organically anyway. It's got a little sketch on it. Here in America, if it's not covered and dipped in wax and a bunch of pesticides and bullshit that will kill you and give you cancer, we call it no good. And it gets sent off as a second to all of these tertiary companies that then sell it to you for a $30 a month subscription. You're getting a box of stuff every week valued at like 80 bucks. So do the math, 30 bucks for four times 80. Or we have a Kroger here where if you look at all the fruits at the end of the end cap, there'll be it in every store, 39 cents a bag for a bunch of fruit or 39 cents for six or seven bananas or 99 cents for a huge bag of vegetables or different assorted fruits. You Another thing, I got to tell you, this is another one. I make friends with the butcher wherever I go. Give him a little wink. You don't care how old you are. You could be an ugly dude. Give him a little wink. You never know which way he sways or flows. Make friends with the butcher. Find out what day they're going to clearance out the meat. Because if it's a Monday and they don't sell everything, then probably by Wednesday they do. And if they don't, they put it out. It doesn't come in a brand name package. It's going to be at the end of the meat aisle, like where the stuff is on the shelves. It's going to be wrapped in clear 
or white and it'll have the store brand name on it. It's the same stuff that was there a day ago. Buy it up and freeze it. We're talking filet mignon, pork tenderloin, beef tenderloin, all kinds of great meat. It's going to go bad. They've got to get rid of it. It's their cut. Boom. There you go. That's probably one of the best tips. And Hannibal, you gave me a great golden nugget when Hannibal was on Goldie's Closet last week. It was hepatitis, World Hepatitis Day. And Hannibal, you need to check out that Goldie's Pod or the, the article in the Los Angeles Tribune because he gave me the most powerful nugget I've ever heard. And I never knew this. And that is there are some diseases that have medications that the patients react to or they don't finish or complete and it goes back to the doctor, back to the doctor's office. And it's if it's not expired, they can give that to you or sell it to you maybe as a, as a discount or who knows. But the point is, talk to your doctor. If you're thinking, I have something wrong with me and I could never afford, you don't know that. You got to ask questions, dig around. And Hannibal really did a great job of letting us all know like, hey, this is out there. This is a resource that's either free or really cheap and it needs to go somewhere. So why not to you? So ask questions. But again, I'm really excited for tonight and I want you to take home as ludicrous as some of this stuff is. I want you to take home something really valuable for it. I do some crazy shit to save money. I Wade says problems. shower in the river. So there you go. There's another tip from one of the viewers. As long as it's not a golden shower in the river. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, God. Apparently, there's some WWE girl, Carmella, that was public about liking that or something. Interesting. But yeah, weird stuff. I Everyone mean, has their got, own thing. Everybody's got their own thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. But, uh, well... We all hear the rumors about Coronet. He has his own thing too, your buddy. But uh, anyways, <laughs> thanks for uh, telling us about that. Send me the link to the, the Los Angeles Tribune article because I haven't found that. And I'll let you say whatever you want to wrap this up. The fans seem interested. Thanks for uh, all the advice. Oh my God. You got, you have, I, again, you call them fans. I say supporters. We all have different things. I just really appreciate all of you letting me come on and being so gracious. And then, you know what, Hannibal, you've got like a lot of assholes that subscribe to you too, who chew me up and throw me out. That's great. I love it. Thank you for the engagement. Please do that tonight and include the TLC handle and the Apparently hashtag. Apparently I have a typical do. Hannibal fan that some people like to, to say. <laughs> You have a what? I don't I don't know about anything about that, but some what do you have a typical what now? That I have the typical fan that are more assholes than regular people, according to some. I would say from all the experience that I've had, it's 80% kick ass and like 20% of real shitters. Yeah. And then and usually the shitters that I call them, I love trolling. I love calling them out because it's just fun to do and I'm taking a big dump on the bathroom and on the on the toilet. Like I'll just let you know, like that's what you mean to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's when I do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking a shit. I might as well shit on some other people. It's really fun to see what people say. <laughs> it would be nice to them just to be nice to them back because it's like, who shows up and just says mean stuff? Like, you know what I mean? Like how damaged goods are you to just like crap all over somebody? If you want to comment on, I didn't like this match and this is what I didn't like. But when you like attack somebody personally for like their, their self core, like you got issues and I think it's funny. So it doesn't bother me at all. People say the meanest shit ever. I think. Well, I appreciate all the views. Some of the meanest people watch the most videos. So <laughs> I don't go. care as long as they make me money. <laughs> That's fine. And like I said, whenever people are extra mean, I just sit on the toilet and drop a deuce and I comment back to you. So just know if you've been mean to me and you do get a comment from this troll, I'm usually on the toilet. Thanks, and Hannibal. one last time, where can we watch this? Sorry, I uh, had an image there that I'm trying to get out of my head. Did you have to itch your nose? <laughs> well, yeah, you started off the podcast with some guy named Lanny or whatever sucking his own wing. Thanks a lot. I wasn't exactly. Well, he's funny. known for being. He's known for even sitting at a table and saying he won't eat anything, and then, oh, can I just have a roll? Oh, you're not going to finish that. Can I eat that? He's cheap to a different level. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that quite that cheap. I like to have extra money to do stuff for other people. But um, Call on the Cheapskates, it's a brand new show. It's on TLC. It's the whole hour is me and a family. And I'm really excited for you all to engage because this is kind of like a piece of history. It's either going to go 
or it's not going to go. And I want it to go. So I'm going to do everything I can. And the lesson in that is, you know what, you all, if there's something that you really want, whether if it's a, a person or a job or a new business or a dream or whatever, like, don't be afraid to ask for help. You don't want to be a, an obnoxious jabroni about it, but don't be afraid to say, hey, could I, um, could I get a little help? But then here's the kicker. What can I do back for you? What can I, can I promote something back for you? Can we cross pollinate? Can, uh, will you mentor me? Can I run your errands for you or your dry cleaning or clean up your yard? Or there are so many things like, don't ever think that you can't approach somebody who is in a different league than you or doing something you want to look for people that are doing better than you so that you can grow and learn, be kind and be respectful and ask them, would you help me? And then have some bargaining or some chip. Maybe you do electrical work. Maybe you're an HVAC guy. Maybe you paint. Maybe you could babysit their kids. The list is endless, but start thinking not cheap, but resourceful about like, how can I gain leverage by bargain, bartering with somebody? What do I have as a resource? And again, it could be your time. Many of you don't value yourselves as much as you should. And everybody watching has special talents and gifts, probably not like Lanny and probably not like this other golden shower gimmick girl. Let's leave that off to the side. Let's pick an honest day's work and say, I have this to offer. This person's doing better than me, or at least they appear to. I'm going to hit them up nicely. Keep it short and simple. Keep it simple. Short kiss, K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it short. Say, I, I'm looking for this. I like the way that you're doing this. Just like I said to Hannibal, could I please um, be on your show? And then an exchange, not even an exchange. We did a podcast on Russo's brand. Again, more people are seeing Hannibal. We did a write-up in the Los Angeles Tribune on World Hepatitis Day that put Hannibal over, talked about his story, and forever that lives. To God, the whole thing is on there. Like It's so cross-promoted. It's awesome. So don't be afraid to ask for help. I am. I'm asking for your help. One more time. The hashtag of the day is calling the cheapskates and include the TLC handle. And you know what? Tag me in it, but tag Hannibal in it too. I heard about this on Hannibal. Plug it. Help him. Bless his life. Get more followers for him because all kinds of people from all over the world will see this tonight and they'll see all the interaction. Make it crazy. Make it fun. But help out your friend Hannibal too. Sub to Hannibal. Put that on there and put on a little link. Definitely subscribe. And I'm going to close this off for the fans with a video of Lacey Von Eric, another blonde, talking about having to take a crap since you talked about taking a crap so much. <laughs> it seems to be a common thing with blondes. So watch her show, everybody. And I'm going to end off with Lacey's video. I have to poop. Oh my God, I actually you should probably go. No joke, today I texted her, I was driving in the car and I said, I have to poop really bad. Like I'm in my car, this 